Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we're going batty. We're back. The reason we haven't been uh, doing videos is because life has gotten very busy. And one of the reasons it's gotten very busy is because what's behind us. We bought a new house where we live out in Wyoming. And uh, we've been doing everything we can to get that settled. Yes. But we have a project today that yes. we are going to bring you along with. Yes. All right, so we're in the garage where all the magic happens. <laughs> and um, in the house that we rented before, if you guys saw some of our videos, like when I would do things in the kitchen there, my pots and pans were hung on a wall. Um, I really liked that. Now the kitchen that we have here is not any bigger, but the layout is different, so I mm. like it better. I really did not care for a galley kitchen. No. I, yeah, there, it was rough. It just, my, my, it. my butt is too big to be in there with another person. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but this one, I wanted my, this house, I want my pots and pans hung on the wall again, especially my cast iron. Cause I have some really great cast iron. That's really yeah. old. And, um, yeah. so we're going, Kevin is going to use recycled wood to fence wood. Yeah. Fence, fence wood. So what we liked about the, uh, the, the other kitchen we're going to incorporate into this one by making it more decorative. Yeah. And that way your pans aren't just easy accessible, but they also look awesome. Yeah. And that way we're going to get to use them more often because the more your pans are out, the more likely you are to use yeah. them than digging through some cupboard. Um, it, it's always been a little difficult for me because I don't, I don't like spending the time it takes to the pan all the way back in the yeah. cupboard and this is going to provide us a decorative and hopefully pretty way yeah. of displaying those but also accessing uh, accessing them we haven't decided what kind of hooks we're going to buy so we'll take you on that journey too uh because they need to be strong enough to hold a cast iron pan yeah so or we're a gonna, stainless steel pan or stainless yeah. steel pan and so yeah. we're going to take you on that journey with us and uh we'll see how it turns out but uh we're going to uh we're going to get started right. so here we go yep. So this here is an old piece of fence. And what we're, what the reason I like it is because it has that weathered look. It doesn't have any stain on it. And so what we're gonna do is on the ends here, we're gonna cut that off. And we're gonna use the rest of it to, um, to be the place where we hang my pans out. And we'll show you that when we get in the house. So I made a template already. This is a piece of wood that'll fit perfectly across the area that we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put it up in. We're gonna secure it to the studs that already exist, and then we're gonna hang the hooks on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna use this board to make several pieces of this. But as you can see, it's split at the bottom, so I don't want to use the split wood. I want to use the good stuff uh, from here to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the mark kind of right here at where the split stops. And I'm gonna find my pencil. And I'm just gonna come across it like that. And I'm gonna come across it like that. We'll, we'll re uh, measure that in just a second, but this is gonna be kind of my template while this is the pieces I'm working on. So I'm gonna cut on that side of the line. going to reline this up to make sure. Yep. And I like that knot hole in it. I wanted that knot hole, so yeah, I think it looks cool. Two pieces down. All I need is several more to go. So what we're going to do is make this decorative and we're going to start at the ceiling. And we're just going to do this all the way down the wall until we get to maybe past here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put hooks, uh, probably not on this board, but on the boards so that Heather can hang her pans. We don't want to hit the ceiling, so the hooks will have to be lower, um, but uh, we'll probably do them two per board all the way down, but uh, we'll skip a board so that she has plenty of rooms for her pans. So we'll use a pan to measure it when it comes time. But first, we're gonna put these on. So 
So this is what we have so far, and we're gonna bring it down a little further, like down, I don't know, just be about eight inches above that ball socket, but I really like that look. I really like that rustic look. Okay. So it's gonna end up looking something like that. Yeah. And we just need to get the hooks. Yeah. We should be good. Yep. So we're putting the screws, or the, not the screws, but the hooks in it. So we've got our our pans that we're hanging on it right now. Ta-da! So that didn't take very long. That was that was maybe a two hour deal. And the only reason it was two hours is because we had to run over to Baumgars. But these hooks, they're a little stronger for the cast iron. Um, and uh, this wood, it was free. It came off of a fence. So I'm really pleased with it. That's... And, and I like I like the wood is covering the wall so it doesn't bang the wall up because we did have that problem with the other one. We just had like it looked, it strips. To look, yeah, and, it started and the to wall, look kind of trashy. Yeah, and and also the hooks go, I, I feel like they're more sturdy in the wood and then in the wall. And when it's time for me to cook the eggs my chicken today, I can just grab a pan. It's ready for me right there. And, and the pans we have up there are the ones that are used the most. So yeah. my cast iron, um, my stainless steel one, we do have a few nonstick pans because there are things like eggs I just haven't perfected in a cast iron skillet yet. That's right. Yep. All right, so thanks for joining us on our project. I hope you like what we did. Make sure you like and subscribe and more updates as we go. Bye.